Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to some more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Um, yeah. So uh, now, we are going to talk to Chi-Chi. Uh, I mean, we just defeated Frieza. So, uh, oh. Uh, Mom's always worried about me. Of course, well, your son. Then, ready to hit the books again, Gohan? Um, you know what? Make me a dish. Let's see. Ah, uh, I don't have food. Alright, you know what? We are full. We, we're strong, we're strong. We're well strong. Then, we can do this. Ready to hit the books again, Gohan? Um, let me at him. I sure you want to continue the story? Yeah, That's it's fine. That's what I like to hear. You should study up and surprise your father with your genius when he gets back. Yeah, sure thing. I mean, that shouldn't really Hurry take back, much. Dad. <laughs> we missed you. All right. Hey, we got some more experience. Holy crap! Oh, I almost dropped my joystick. All right. Um, but yeah, guys, if you, as you can see, Gohan's level right now is uh, much higher. Basically, I wanted to stream yesterday with Ryan uh, over on Twitch, uh, which we do sometimes. Uh, and we just had a lot of problems. And I was mid playing Dragon Ball. a year and a half had passed since the fight with later. the dreadful Frieza. But there was still no sign of Goku returning to Earth. Mm. That peace, however was to be short-lived as a new threat was rapidly approaching the planet Ooh. I guess who that is oh, my computer. all right the Android Terra arrives heck yeah Let's do this. So the sea warriors are gathered. Oh, everyone's here already. Krillin, you <laughs> felt it too, right? The Vegeta, the Vegeta shirt. It's Frieza, and someone else with enormous power like his. Yeah. Yeah, kind of hard not to notice. There's no way we're gonna miss a massive energy reading like that. This can't be good. Do you really think it's Frieza? Well, sure seems like it. They'll know we're here if you don't quit your foolish babbling and lower your power levels. They have scouters, after all. The Namekian's already lowered his. At least one of you is smart. Piccolo! They're here! <laughs> Holy crap. But yeah, what I was about to say, I grinded, like, when we tried to figure out why the stream didn't work for us. So I just grinded defeating people, bad guys, they, after bad guys. They landed over there! It's Frieza. It's gotta be. I can't believe he's still alive! Now, hold on. I think there's someone else with him. Do not fly them. Got it? We can avoid scouter detection by simply walking up to them. You, you guys have actually fought against someone with this much power? You, you gotta be kidding me. What are we supposed to do once we get close to him? You'd rather stay back here and rot, is that it? Suit yourself. All of us know what we're up against. Not all of you. Just to be perfectly clear. Honestly, I love that shirt. I love that shirt, by the way. <laughs> Earth is completely done for. This, this can't be happening. And Gohan in his battle suit. Wait, did he have that on? Why can't I remember that? Alright, you cannot fly uh, if I keep last while moving. Oh, <laughs> everyone just spawned in. Alright, so we can just take some normal conversation with these guys. But I'd rather just, you know, go straight to the point. Who in the world did Frieza survive? Oh, okay. Joe, you know I feel like Piccolo's the one we need to talk to to actually get Damn further. That Why didn't he finish that bastard off? Alright. I to think we're going up against him again. Talk to everyone about Frieza. Oh, so we actually have to talk to everybody. We have to talk to Vegeta. First, we'll move in. One foot, of course. There we go. So Vegeta was the one to initiate the attack. Man, the closer we get, the heavier the air seems to get. Yamcha, come on, man. It's We're just... almost at his ship. Are you sure you're ready for this? Nope. It, yes. I mean, we could try. <laughs> Ooh, and that's King Kong. So this is Earth. I've seen worse hunks of rock. It seems this Super Saiyan Goku you keep going on about is set to arrive here in three hours. Wait, how did they know? So you intend to wait for him, Frieza? 
I mean, it's why, of course, father. It's not nice rivers to slaughter but for me I as well. I want him to suffer for what he did to me, so I think I'll slaughter every last one of his beloved Earthlings. Go on. I couldn't care less about the Earthlings, but we do absolutely need to rid ourselves of that Super Saiyan. By yeah. any means necessary. King Go looks huge. Bro. Like, mm. Frieza is the size of his knee. Up to his knee. And what brings you here, Earthling? Oh, that's, yeah, that's Trunks. <laughs> I'm here to kill you. The mysterious youth? The mysterious savior from the future. I mean, they just gave the plot away straight up. Come on, What's man. that now? You're here to kill us, you say? Hmm. Eliminate him. Sir! <laughs> Come on. Well, now, it seems you've got some skill. Come at me with everything you've got. Some of the animations doesn't really work. Unlike Goku, I won't take it easy on you. And there's Goku. a lack of blood. Oh, I see. So you're an ally of his. Never met the guy. Only know him by name. Hmm. Oh dear. You do realize that killing my men puts you in grave danger, do you not? Now I have to kill you myself. You miscalculated. A miscalculation? Oh, I beg to differ. Wiping you and the rest of the filth from this planet would be child's play. Go on. Go on, That's man. not what I meant. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. <laughs> and I'm not talking about Goku. There's another one right here. Oh, the animations are stiff. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Also with the battle, uh, there's a lack of blood. Obviously, so they could reach further, you know. Oh! Prepare to die! The only one dying is Uh, Shining Sword, I think. Oh! You came all the way here to Earth seeking revenge, but unfortunately for you, you're not going to be able to carry it out. Oi, right. Trunks, you're Batman. The problem is that I have grinded way too much right now. So Gohan is a lot stronger than... <laughs> like, normal Gohan is a lot stronger than Freezeck is. Come on, man. So I see Frieza here. He is a uh, Frieza is level uh, 36. My Gohan right now is level 39. Oh, crap! Uh, I guess I mean, still Frieza shouldn't really be a proper boss. I can still fight! No, you can't! Come on! This is a And Oh, come on! There we go. Easy. Easy. Oh, this scene though, this scene. I really hope they nailed the animations. How is this possible? This one. Frieza! And there we go, peace, yes. I mean, it's not the best animations I've ever seen from them, but that was alright. Impossible. All right. <laughs> and King Cole as well. And buy to the ship. I don't know why he, he destroyed the ship. Because Bulma could definitely use the technology from that. I'm just saying. I'm just super serious. <laughs> two huge powers! They're both gone! What in the world is going on? 
One way to find out. We'll go over there. Alright. Wait, is, th is that him? Ooh. Can I keep that him? Nah, I can't. That's him, isn't it? Keep your guard up. We don't know who we're up against. Vegeta's son. Right. I'm gonna head over there and wait for Goku. Wasn't he like 13 or 14 years at this point? I mean, Trunks. You're more than welcome to join me. What? He's gonna show up right over there. If you're coming, then follow me. So, what do we do? Uh, I'm... I'm gonna follow him. Yeah, me too. I'm going to find out who this creep is. <laughs> Batman. Honestly, I've loved Vegeta's shirt. <laughs> I actually just might buy one of those at some point. The Batman shirt? If you know what... Yeah, you know. If you're watching this series, yeah, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. Nope. He's a good guy. Um, so how do you know my dad? Well, I've only heard about him. I haven't had the privilege of actually meeting him yet. Oh, uh, really? So, hey, how do you know when Goku's coming back? Well, um... I'm afraid I can't tell you that. I'm sorry. So, can I ask? You were a Super Saiyan when you beat Frieza earlier, weren't you? How did you do that? Unfortunately, <laughs> I can't tell you that either. It's just sorry. A, it's just a tingling feeling in the back. We learned that in, in the Dragon Ball Super. What's your name? Uh, that too. <laughs> you can't even tell us your name? Well, what about your age? I'm 17. Oh, okay, 17. So you can tell us your age. A young adult. But that's all I can tell you. I really am sorry. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You saved the Earth after all. It'll be another three hours before Goku gets here. So please, just hang tight a little bit longer. All right. <laughs> three hours later. Imagine us actually have to wait uh, in real life, three hours. Be here soon. Just to drag out the game. That looks like the crater Yamcha died in. <laughs> oh, so funny. All right, let's see. Oh, he has the yard red outfit. I forgot. Yes. Huh? Yes, lad. Goku. Dad! How'd you guys know I was gonna be here? This young man here clued us in. Who is he? Y you mean you don't know who this is at all? Nope, never seen him before. That reminds me. Who took care of Frieza and the others? That was some crazy energy. We've got him to thank for that as well. He made quick work of them by becoming a Super Saiyan. A Super Saiyan? Goku, I need to speak with you in private. If you don't mind. With me? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, what's the big deal? You're gonna keep us in the dark? Yeah. Sorry, guys. Just hang tight for a bit, okay? I mean, they just waited for three hours. <laughs> oh, we get to be Goku now. Uh, Goku say Super Saiyan transformation in the... Uh, yeah, I guess I better go talk to him. Wait, weren't they right between it? What? I'm pretty sure they said he could turn into a Super Saiyan as well. Yo, I want to go back to the other. I want to go back to Yara. Oh yeah, there's some opponents. I right, should we fight one of them. You know what? Some trouble later. Let's just Best see. To deal with this now. Let's just see what Goku can do right now, because I grinded him as well on Namek. So uh, let's just see what we can do. Let's do this. Here goes. I go on. Go on. Wait, why are we slow motion? Uh, okay. My game just froze. Wait, guys, I'm not doing anything. What's going on? Wait a second. <laughs> Bro, I paused it. Okay, something's wrong. Okay, my computer is definitely messing up right now. I think I'm back to normal. 
That was, that was spot on, you know. Yeah, we're back to this. We're back to this. Bro! Could you please just... He shouldn't be able to dodge that, even if he tried. There we go. I, I don't know what just happened to my control. That was... that was weird. Alright, let's go talk to Trunks. Okay, let's see what he has to say. I need to know something. Are you able to become a Super Saiyan at will? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't at first, but I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask, would you mind transforming for me now? You got it. Well, I don't even get to do it. This good? So, what now? Now, I'll become a Super Saiyan too. Why does he look so pissed? There's Whoa. a lack of sound effects here. And I'd like you to fight me. And I won't go easy. Fine by me. Also, fight, fight the trunks now. I mean, that should be easy. We're level, we're level 41. Yeah, pretty amazing. Come on, break his shield. Nope. Oh, oh, he actually dodged that. Bravo, my young guy. Bravo. You're incredible, Goku. Hey, you're no slouch yourself. I can see how you defeated Frieza so easily. Ah, oh, come on. Alright, here we go. Okay, Dutch. How can you okay, okay Trump's actually to putting up a decent fight, you know? Supposed to? What do you mean? If you only had arrived here earlier. For some reason. Uh, we need to keep some well, I wouldn't say that. I know a little technique called instant transmission. Come on, man. Trunks, would you just give it a rest, bruh? I can beat your ass quickly, just... Let him get some key, bro! Yeah! Alright. Amazing! You're just as good as I'd heard! No, better even! Okay, I'll tell you everything. But please, it's important that you make sure not to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. Gotcha! It might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but I've come here from 20 years into the future, using a time machine. The, the future? My name is Trunks. <laughs> I'm Vegeta's son. Just to put it quite friendly, I'm Vegeta. <laughs> what? Vegeta's son? Actually, now that you mention him, you do kind of look like him. I'm going to be born two and a half years from now. But that's not why I came here. There's something much more important I need to tell you. So, huh? Oh, right. Three years from now, on May 12th, at around 10 a.m., Two incredibly powerful figures will appear on an island five and a half miles southwest from South City. Who are they? No. They're androids. Oh. Created right here on Earth. How is that even possible? They were I created still don't know. by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army named Dr. Giro. The Red Ribbon Army? That's right. The same one you took down many years ago. Oh, yeah. When I was just a little guy. Yeah, and you actually killed people? Like, if you guys remember, when he was a kid, he killed from left, right, and center. I thought I got rid of those guys a while ago. Like, back when I beat up their boss. Unfortunately, Dr. Giraud survived and continued his research. So, what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? I'm not entirely sure. 
but it's possible that was his end goal. But his androids were designed to be killing machines. And they eventually turned on their creator. Meaning, the androids were free to kill and destroy to their heart's content. It's been just me against the two of them. I struggled to make it out alive. Wait, uh, what happened to everybody else? They're gone. 20 years from now, I'm the only fighter left. The music just switched up. In the fight. Three years from now, my father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, everyone is killed. Only Gohan managed to make it out alive. He taught me how to fight four years before I came here in the time machine. As you know, with Piccolo gone, the Dragon Balls could no longer be used, meaning we couldn't bring anyone back once they were killed. The androids' unquenchable lust for bloodshed eventually turned the world into a nightmarish hellscape. They're too strong. Nothing can take them down. Hey, wait, hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? I just thought it was hot Even you couldn't join in the fight. Not too long from now, you'll fall prey to a severe heart virus. What? <laughs> well, this is a pickle. I'm guessing sensu beans won't work, huh? Nope. Man, this sucks on so many levels. I can't believe I'm gonna die in such a lame way. <laughs> I really wanted to fight those guys. Yeah, you're disappointed you can't fight them? Aren't you scared? Nope. Well, yeah, I'm scared. But you said they're crazy strong, right? Of course I want to fight them. I see. You really are a true Saiyan warrior, aren't you? Here, when you start to see symptoms, take this. It's a medicine developed 20 years from now. It should keep you alive. Whoa, really? Awesome, thanks. Normally, history shouldn't be changed. But I've got to do whatever I can to prevent those atrocities from coming to pass. My mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. Wait, your mother? She knows who I am? Yes, she knows you well. Wait, you said she built a time machine. Isn't that right? And the only person I know who can do that is... Oma. No way! Your mom <laughs> isn't... Yes, she's right over there. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Bulma? Out of all the stuff you just told me, that's gotta be the craziest! I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. Why would she? To, to think she ended up with Vegeta of all people. I mean, it just makes no sense. P uh, please, make sure not to tell anyone. I can't have people knowing who I really am. If you do, well, I uh, might never be born. Oh, yeah, right. Mum's the word. Well, I'd better get going back to my own time. I need to let my mother know how everything went here. Hey, are we gonna see you again? Making a round trip in the time machine requires a lot of energy, so it'll take some time. If I can survive until then, I'll definitely come back to lend my support three years from now. Stay alive. What a great new goal. All right, so now we got the trunks, uh, it's all in them. Easy. Alright, we got an S and an S. Nice! Alright, and we got some rewards. Some team builds as well. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Well, now I just gotta figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey Goku! We just saw that guy take off! Where did he go? Oh, uh... Uh, him? Yeah, he, uh, I, I guess you could say he went back home. <laughs> went back home? Excellent liar. <laughs> so, just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well, he's... Hey, isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. Because Piccolo can hear everything. What? Look at his you ears. You mean you heard? My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right. I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? 
What are you saying? On the hunt for the androids. Oof. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunk's identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say about the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. Yeah. Androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. How can you be shocked? You have freaking balls that can grant wishes. Kakarot! Bring people back from the dead. How is the future just so crazy? Uh, Spill it! How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right, we've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah, for a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. Mm -hmm. That's right, the Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep, they were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. Mm -hmm. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called instant transmission. And it's probably the most overpowered technique. Except for, obviously, the Kaioken. But still, it's very good. I mean, I mean, I could even argue it's even better. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, instant transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? No. It's not much of a downside if yeah. you ask me. <laughs> well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> All right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So, when and where should we meet? The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at 9. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not gonna babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Kakarot, you may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place <laughs> soon enough. Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years. Uh, where we said. Hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> sure. Sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again! To hear him say that is All just right. See you guys soon. Amazing. Or in three years. Right. We're making a stop home first. Right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Guess I better get some FaceTime in with Chi-Chi, huh? Piccolo, is it okay with you if we do that? Fine. But don't waste too much of our time. I mean, you have the instant transmission. You could just go there quickly. I mean... <sighs> Alright, so that's actually what we're doing right now. Uh, I think I will have to... Oh, yeah. Training with Piccolo. I can't wait. I won't go easy on you. <laughs> Mr. Piccolo's pretty strict, you know. Ha! I'm counting on that. I mean, they, they, <laughs> they just interrupted me. <laughs> I, I think I said I was... Um, I'm ending the episode here guys, thank you for watching, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I hope you enjoyed this series because I enjoy reliving this story again. So yeah, take care and peace.